Hey, check out this sweet tail. Okay, that's neat. What about this horn I can grow from my shoulder? Yeah, that's really cool. How about this massive throat sack I can grow? Why? You could become anything and you chose the throat sack? What? I think it really brings out my eyes. Mm, it brings out your throat, stupid. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and tarnished of all ages, welcome one and all to your revenge. Crucible Knights, who likes them? No one. The big beefy bruisers who bust out shape-shifting magic to tear you a new one every time you see one of them. But what if I told you that you could actually be them yourself? In Elden Ring, there are three incantations labeled as aspects of the Crucible. Today, I'll be showing you where to get each one, showing you what they do, talking about how effective they'll actually be in proper use, and one smooth trick that you can do to increase your damage with every single one of them. Starting off then, what actually are the Crucible Aspect Incantations? The three currently around are Tail, Horns, and Breath. Tail creates a magical tail coming out of your rear end, and you can charge the spell to swing the tail up to two times. The second swing does significantly more damage and poise damage, and that is the main thing that this incantation provides in general. More so than just damage itself, this incantation does a lot of poise damage in a big sweeping area around you. It's excellent crowd control. While this isn't exactly an incantation that you can just walk around spamming as your bread and butter against singular enemies, it definitely is good in the right situation. It also has a good bit of hyper armor during the second swing of the tail, not the first swing, but the second swing. If you want to get this one for yourself, you'll need to head to the Stormhill Everjail located just northwest of where you first enter the open world in Elden Ring. Activate the pad in the middle and behold the first encounterable Crucible Knight in the game. Defeat him and receive for yourself Aspects of the Crucible Tail. The second incantation in the Crucible Knight's trio is Horns. This grows three horns out of your shoulder and you charge it up. When released, it will dash forwards a short distance and then smack your enemy under the face with your shoulder. If you charge up the attack properly, both the distance and the knockback will increase significantly to the point that many humanoid enemies will just get flung up into the air entirely. While this doesn't apply to all humanoid bosses, it does apply to some humanoid bosses, surprisingly enough, some of which are incredibly annoying ones too. Look away now for a few seconds if you don't want to see the boss at the end of the Halig tree, but watch now as she just sort of gets juggled. Anyone who has fought this boss knows that she is insanely difficult, and so the fact that this interacts with her in this way is just sort of hilarious. Anyway, back to the spoiler free talk, the damage this does isn't insane, but like the tail attack, this one is much more for the poise damage and effect that it more specifically has for the massive full-on knockback and the knockdown to humanoid enemies, as well as the forward movement of the charge. In PvP, this will be really hard to hit because of how long it takes to wind up properly and how obvious the visual is. However, Obviously, if you do manage to hit this, if you do manage to launch someone into the sky, it's pretty much game over for them. In PvE, the damage isn't great, but you can use this one to dash through lines of enemies at a time. It's capable of AoE in that way, but it is much more meant to be used as a single target crowd control tool. To acquire this one for yourself, head to the Rampart Tower site of Grace in Stormvale Castle, head out towards the birds, and then jump off of the upper area on the left. Slowly work your way down the side of the castle through this relatively safe route, until the ground drops out from under you. From here, walk forwards and find another Crucible Knight to befriend. And by befriend, I mean murder them, and you'll get for yourself this lovely incantation. On to the third incantation then, and this one is my personal favorite, Breath. Look, I like silly shit, I accept that, and this is some absolutely ridiculous silly shit, but at the same time, I can't deny how weirdly effective it can be. This one creates a giant throat sack coming out of your face, you charge up the spell before releasing, and the longer you hold the charge, the longer the breath will continue up to a certain limit. Longer breath costs more mana, but it just watch them burn. There, there isn't any hyper armor, so you are entirely relying on your own poise during this, but once an enemy is firmly up close to you, if you start spewing the breath just as they get next to you while you're walking forwards, because yeah, you can walk forwards while you're doing this, by the way, it makes it really hard to get out of the damaging area before the damage becomes too much. 
Smash. This one counts as fire damage, and so you can boost it with anything that boosts fire damage in the game. Unfortunately, it won't be too great against bosses due to the wind-up time and more area of effect focus, but realistically, anything weak to fire will not enjoy being directly in front of this attack, just full stop. If you want to get this incantation for yourself, you're going to have to kill someone who you may not want to kill. First things first, you have to get to Volcano Manor in the Altus Plateau, and then you have to kill the main boss of the manor. You can either do this by completing the quest line that you get from talking to Tanith in the main hall, or just by exploring and finding the boss yourself. Once the boss of the area has been defeated, Tanith will move to the boss room where she is consuming Rikard's insides. At this point, I need to point out that Tanith's quest line appears incomplete, by which I mean, at, at this point, she does not leave this room for the rest of the game, even though her dialogue implies that she probably should, but it is very well possible that a patch in the future may change this. With that said, the way that you get this incantation is by attacking Tanith, which results in her death. It may become possible at a later date to acquire this incantation in a peaceful way, but right now it is simply not. If you are comfortable removing Tanith from your save in exchange for this incantation, then attack her and immediately afterwards her bodyguard Crucible Knight will spawn. Defeat him and receive your brand new fancy throat sack. Now, as for how to boost the damage of these incantations. Sadly, there is not a seal in the game that affects them in particular. There isn't one that boosts their school of magic, and so no seal in particular matches these incantations. That said, you can boost the damage of these by up to 16% in a way that affects no other item or spell in the game. How, you ask? Wearing the Crucible Knight armor set. There are two of these armor sets in the game, the Crucible Axe armor and the Crucible Tree armor, and each individual piece of each armor set gives you around a 4% bonus in damage with aspect of the Crucible incantations. Wearing one of these in every slot of armor makes a total of 16% bonus damage, as you can see the difference here between wearing non-Crucible Knight armor and then wearing Crucible Knight armor on the same enemy with the same attack. With that included, the damage becomes quite reasonable. However, it sort of locks you to that armor set. If you want one of these armor sets for yourself, the easier of the two is found in the Deep Root Depths area of the game on the western side of the region, proceed from the Nameless Eternal City site of Grace, down off of the cliff, and then up the slipstream to find a tree. Inside of the tree is a chest with the armor set. If it's your first time here, a boss is outside of this tree, but you don't have to kill them to open this chest. As limiting as it may be to be forced into one armor set to make the most out of these incantations, because it doesn't have a specific seal that does work with them, you can sort of mix these with another school of incantations that does get buffed from a seal, and then you get the best of both worlds. And hey, who knows what future patches may have in store for us. Maybe one day we'll get a seal of the Crucible Knights that boosts these incantations or something like that. In any case, in the place that they are currently, they are extremely cool spells worth having. And if you are really into the concept of it, you can absolutely make a build around just sort of being a Crucible Knight yourself. And today I have shown you exactly how. I've been gotten dinosaur from Rage Gaming videos, and this has been your guide on the aspect of the Crucible incantations, how to find them, and how to make them stronger in Elden Ring. Are these incantations exciting for you, or are you disappointed by how few there are in the game? Well, if you like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye